continue our camera work with a few more camera techniques. The first one we're going to look at is the camera follow. I have a camera follow this alien as he walks through our plane. We had set up this in a tutorial before where he walks across the plane. So we're going to set up a target camera. Click on target camera. Rough in your camera so that it's relatively close to where you want it. We can always change this later. I'm going to delete some of these extra pieces that I have in here. Alright, now that we've got that selected, we'll make sure the camera is selected. We'll go up to Animation and Constraints. Look at Constraint. And then what we want to do is we want to come up here and we want to pick a target. And we'll make the head of the alien the target. And notice our camera kind of snapped up there. So now instead of following the actual target that was originally set up, now it's going to follow the head and that's going to be the new target for the camera. So we'll play it in this view first and you can see the camera moving with the alien. And if we go to our camera view and play it out, you can see it follows that head around. Now at this point in time, we can adjust the camera itself by pulling it up or back to change our view. The target doesn't change, but the camera placement itself changes. So we'll play that out. And you can do some neat effects like that, like have it walk up towards the alien and I'll set it here to where it walks up the hill at him. Alright, so let's say that we want to have multiple cameras in this scene. We've already set up one of the cameras. I'm going to change this back to perspective view. And you can see our camera here. We've got a target camera that's following our character. As we played out, you can see that. Um, our next camera is going to be just an overall free camera that's going to look at just the entire plane that we have here and we'll set that in rotate it around just so that we can see our guy walking and he's completely in that frame so we'll just leave it like that so we've got camera 2 and camera 3 uh, our, our following camera was camera 2 and our stationary care camera is camera 3 the next thing we'll do is we'll go up to rendering we'll go down to batch renderer and we'll click add and we'll have two different views here so we're going to name our view 1 we're going to come down here and name it camera 002 and we'll name this other one camera 3 now one thing about naming these things when you name them after you've typed that in just hit enter before you click on anything else and it'll rename these um, so we're going to go up we're going to select our camera 2, we're going to override presets um, we want the frame start for our camera 2 to be 0 and our frame end to be, just for demonstration, 20 and we'll select here camera 2 and we'll do an out, uh, output path I'm going to go set that and I'll be right back and we'll set up camera 3 as well with the presets of 
20 to 40. That way we don't have to sit here while it renders the whole thing. We'll set our output path again. We'll call it camera 3 this time. And we'll set it as an AVI file. And this one will be camera 3. Everything else can stay the same. And we're going to hit render. And this is rendering through. And this is our render window. So we'll go open that up and we'll see what we have. So I've put these side by side now. You can see this is camera 3. And this is camera 2. And we can put these two videos together in another piece of software like Premiere and uh, have them back to back.